D, I love the fact that you're sat there wearing a chamois leather on, love, and, and you've, you've basically clawed some slurry from your garden, dear, and just daubed it on your face. Some of us have actually put some production into today's episode, but no. I am! Morning! Morning. Great. <laughs> Hydrate. Mm. <laughs> wow. Another Saturday. Prosecco morning. Yes, yeah. Richard, that's amazing. <laughs> yes, no, this is a little sparkling, um, little sparkling red, which um, I first oh. got familiar with when I was down under on the Pacific Rim Girls. Um, yeah. and, oh my uh, God. and I, I thought, why on earth would you have something like a sparkling Shiraz? You know, why on earth would you divvy up a red wine? But I have to say, lovely quaffer in the summer when it's uh, chilled. This is that. Uh, <laughs> Bozo Vino Spumanti Dry from our friends at Wines with Stories. Oh, yeah. oh, I like the idea of that. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, you can get me one of those. No, I, I haven't have... had one of those. Do I not? Well, we all need one. But listen, before we go any further, can I say yes. like and subscribe to us on YouTube? Oh, oh right. right. I don't think I should say that about Facebook today. I look a bit strange. <laughs> Well, no, the only thing is, Debbie, we can still hear you speaking, which is a loss to the entire show. But nevertheless, oh. you look fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> you and I, obviously, um, as we pointed out before we started recording today, obviously had the same goodie bag. And, and during lockdown, I have a lot of um, girlfriends who've worked over the years with a lot of, um, you know, uh, white, clean, glossy magazines, okay, a lot of fashion titles. And uh, they started going through, you know, their cupboards, their bathroom cupboards, as we all did, and doing an audit on all the stuff they've been given out of goodie bags uh, over the years. And this is one that I've had in the fridge um, in anticipation of this year's BAFTA Awards. The TV BAFTA Awards, Ooh. of course, were postponed, and they'll be online yes. at the end of July. So Debbie and I clearly have the same taste, and, and we've certainly skimmed um, enough free booze off of tables over the years at award ceremonies, and we obviously skim a few extra goodie bags as well. So this is what it looked like before Debbie put it on. This is an intense, hydrating, 24 karat gold collagen and hyaluronic face mask. That's what it. Oh, it's, wow. Wow. That's what it looked like before. It's like something you discover on the Inca Trail, isn't it? Oh, I yeah. love it. I like that. It's, it, it's a bit weird to put on on the next yeah. phase though if you can see it's like kind of uh what's the word sort of like jelly like yeah i like uh, it but i'm not sure i shall take it off by the end of the show god knows what i look like underneath i should be all beautiful glowing. darling as always d do you need to say something um, important d do you need to say something important about twitter you mean about twitter yeah yeah, yeah. Come on. follow us please on twitter and don't forget to tweet and of course, um, always follow us on Instagram. Of course. So, yeah. Thank God she's only done the one live. <laughs> she's going on again. She that. built her part, Richard. It literally is a soliloquy <laughs> to Instagram now. It can't Instagram. be the one line. Um, Dee, I love the fact that you're sat there wearing a chamois leather on, love, and, and you've, you've basically clawed some slurry from your garden, dear, and just daubed it on your face. Some of us have actually put some production into today's episode, but no. I am! Exactly! What you What's do? yours, Dee, darling? Uh, well, what have you got on? This is, I mean, honestly, this is a big discovery for me, and it's called M Moringa. Have you heard of Moringa? Oh, that's yes, what it's like when you, you know, I told you all about. No, that's it's the tea. Yeah, no, Moringa I told you all is about Moringa tea. Well, it's more than that. It's actually it's got the A vitamin in there, and also lots of really good stuff. So what you do is you actually get the, the powder. You can buy the powder online mm. or from a very good health store, and you mix it with an egg, right? Mm. And also olive oil, so that you can take it off, and a little bit of olive oil. And it just goes on, and it's just the most amazing thing. And apparently, you can also drink it. And it's if you wow. if you have a, like a teaspoon, this is really good to know, girls. And yeah. Richard, lovely. Um, every day for three months, apparently your immune system is completely boosted. Oh so my I goodness! Big discovery. Yeah. Moringa. Moringa I did, Yes, I did tell you guys about the moringa tea. Remember? Yes, you did. did. I you drink did. it now. Yes. I love the fact but that I've completely lost the plot here. I don't know what anybody's talking about. <laughs> Jerry, um, do I... Next. Harriet, Harriet's got a face on her that thinks, oh, do you know what? I wouldn't wash my dog with it, actually, but I'm happy to <laughs> love it. I mean, being enthusiastic and supportive. 
<laughs> Nodding and smiling and <laughs> sipping the lovely Prosecco from Wines with Stories. Yes. And usually, Richard, I make my own hats, but this has to say is unashamedly a towel. I can see that. I'm with yeah, you. Yeah, it's not a hat. It's not a hat. Yes, a towel. I've got you. Exactly. Before yeah. you go off, Sherry, and I know, you know, because you've got to go and put on your mask, I just want to describe what I've made, which I, it is rather extraordinary. It's chickpeas, Ooh. and it's a, no, but it, who knew? And some tahini and a little spice. And, and actually, it does amazing things. I'm going to show you now because um, this is how it works. This is my um, my thing I put it on with, and it goes like this. Ah! Woo! You see, through. she's cleaning her Richard. inside out. Richard, she's that's cheating. what she's, she's doing. Eating. Oh, she no, I'm trying to. Oh, no. I mean, she, J J Harriet, you're absolutely right. Tahini over cabbage with a roast lamb is absolutely divine. And frankly, it's wasted. Yeah. And, and no, I'm not like that at all. Oh, look at her. Oh, look at her. Well, listen, can I just and tell then, you something? Then, that, that is another I, temple. Well, I actually missed the brief of this complete. <laughs> As long as you so wear it, I thought <laughs> you meant that we had to have a mask for for when we go outside to talk to people and in shops. Okay, oh God. so I'm just going to nip away because I missed the. I'll be back in a minute. Do you think okay, the glasses? Then. Do you like the mm -hmm. Richard? Get the memo. Yes. Do you like the glasses with the mask? Debbie, your glasses look amazing. I love a horn rim, dear. I love a horn rim. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wonderful thing, I mean, the great thing, the great news about these masks here, particularly uh, the ones that um, Debbie and I have favoured, albeit free from goodie bags, is not only do they leave you with instantly brighter, hydrated, refreshed and radiant skin, but quick absorption technology. And I don't know about you ladies, but in our time of life, quick absorption is absolutely the key. Should I take Cheers. it off? Cheers. How, no, not yet. How long has it been on? Uh, how, long, how long has the show Let been me get my glasses. How long is it supposed to stay on for? Deb, Deb, Debbie, Debbie, it, 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 honestly, you look. Meryl Streep from Death Becomes Her. Just leave it on for another 30 minutes, darling. <laughs> <laughs> they are not cheap. They are not cheap. All right. Oh, Richard, I've got to ask you. I love Dickie's Den in the background. Thank you, my Dickie's love. Den. It, it never gets old, although after 12 weeks, it's starting to feel a, a little <laughs> old, you know. Yeah. Um, but gradually, gradually, we've all been creeping out. Um, and, and so you're doing the BAFTA's live, so that's, so that's going to be a live show in the theatre or, or no audience? No, it's going to be um, a socially distanced TV studio um, happening at the end of uh, July. Uh, and obviously the gongs will be given out. The nominations have also already been announced. Uh, but yeah, it won't be the pressing of the flesh and the red carpet air kissing that we've known of old. Unfortunately, those red carpets, I feel, have been rolled up for quite some time. But nevertheless, the back Will you be not. dressed up, darling? And the glitz is going to be given. Well, if I'm dressed up, H, I'll be at home. But of course, we'll be doing a Wonderbird show uh, on the mm -hmm. Sunday, the ceremony on the Sunday. So perhaps <clears throat> that weekend we could do a little bafta. I'm sure Harriet. Yes. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Red carpet. Did you know that it's it's Harry, it was Harriet? What is that oh, shell? What the hell? I mean, she Debbie, you as a bafta today. You've never looked better, darling. Yeah. <laughs> That oh, is it's a shell. It's, it's a shell. shell. <laughs> it's brilliant. Here, everybody, but I, I'm protected against everything. <laughs> and I made it myself. Absolutely magnificent. <laughs> what I love about Sherry is, um, darling, uh, we've worked together for many, many years and we've been friends for many, many years. And you've always insisted you're never too old to pay the coquette. Um, a mermaid <laughs> is an interesting choice. A very interesting yeah. choice. I imagine it is brilliant. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. You like it? Yeah. And it gives you what it everything. You know what else it does, darling? It gives you it. It's like a um, a natural microphone for your voce because oh, it echoes it. in the shell. <laughs> well, I can hear Ooh. the sea. I can hear yes. the sea and everything. <laughs> Seashells on the seashore. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't know about you ladies, but I often hear Sherry's voice as an echo anyway. I don't really need to be near the sea or to be yeah. wearing any form of shellware <laughs> whatsoever. It's something that's haunted me ever since, ever since <laughs> the first met for an issue like 20 years ago. I want to know what's happening under Debbie's mask. What? I didn't get the brief, you see. No, Which, didn't get Richard the said I can't take it off yet. No, don't oh, oh. see. 
Debbie, please don't don't take it off. Don't 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 take it off. I'm sure we've got a few more minutes yet, and, and then we can get to the reveal. And I'm hoping that you will be instantly brighter and hydrated. Oh, um, yes. you know, so this show, Richard, is is Harriet's post birthday and my pre birthday party. That's right. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. I, didn't, I didn't think I'd ever go to a party looking like this. To be honest, but, you, know, you I, look divine. <laughs> I hadn't noticed at all that it was Harriet's birthday because if you follow Harriet on Instagram, of course, she's, well, undersold, frankly. Um, there yeah. wasn't even a mention of her big day. No. Uh, not no a mention, mention of the flowers she received, the cake she received, or, or anything. And I felt bereft right. for her. Um, yes. Harriet, it looked absolutely spectacular, darling. Thank you. <laughs> it was heaven. It did. I'm now actually, I, I am now actually a human cake. Yes. I didn't know it was possible, but I am a human embodiment of cake. Is that why you leave it in space every week? Hey! Hey! hey. So Debbie, Debbie, yeah. what day is when, darling? Uh, on Sunday. Sunday, one. Um, so tomorrow. tomorrow. Tomorrow, the same, the same day as Mr. Paul O'Grady, who was our guest on Friday, him oh. on Thursday, or whatever day it was. He's 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 my twin. He's your twin. Do you know? Can I tell you a quick story about uh, Paul O'Grady because it'll help with your rejuvenating process? Um, <laughs> and, and yes, please. Yes, please. Um, so I first met Paul O'Grady back in the um, uh, oh, it would have been about 1988, and I was working <laughs> as um, I was working at Assembly Theatre. I was a student at the time up in Edinburgh during the Fringe Festival, and Paul O'Grady was uh, had a show, a one man show in the Wildman Room, which is a venue within the Assembly Rooms uh, there. And how we're missing the Edinburgh Fringe this year, which of course has been cancelled along with everything else. Um, that was due in August, of course. And uh, I was sat there, and it was back in the days when you, you had to tear and collect ticket stubs. You would actually thread them onto a, a piece of cotton, you know. Oh, I remember that. You know, those were the days. And yes. Paul was dressed in a bee jam sprock, you know, the frozen food store of old. Um, dressed as Lily Savage and I remember uh, Paul came up to me one day and I was um, threading these tickets and uh, he was de-rigged, completely unlilied, if you like, de-savaged and all I heard was this voice going, you are ice and I looked up and there he was, you know, the most handsome man I think I'd ever, ever seen. And of course, our paths have crossed many, many times over the years. And when I saw he was on your show, I tuned in uh, this week because I absolutely adore the man from the days when he used to perform in all the clubs, of course, as Lily, mm. his chat show. And I don't think there's, uh, well, you'd be hard pressed to find a more generous spirit in the business and certainly. Oh, you love me. Be adorable. So happy birthday, Paul. I'll be sending this free bottle of wine. <laughs> I received <laughs> Wine for stories uh, because there is nothing like an empty gesture from the world of show business, is there, Debbie? <laughs> but, but, but also, I think Mr. O'Grady might have received some wine from Wine with Stories to say happy yes. birthday. Good, hopefully, yes, he would have done very yes. possibly. Very possibly. And I do find it hysterical. I'm looking at, at these three beautiful ladies with their faces completely covered in shells. <laughs> I don't know what that matcha tea. Or whatever and uh, 24 gallon <laughs> hysterical <laughs> hysterical and richard you and i they're the only ones i mean i have tried to put this in on my face it just keeps going into it instead so what i mean tahini is 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 the most undersold thing that i absolutely do love it over boiled cabbage something as simple as that boiled cabbage oh. that student, <laughs> I mean, can i take this off yet richard no, 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 no. <laughs> Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. I've told you before, we can still hear you. It's not a track. Yeah, and that was so, only two minutes ago you asked. Yeah, yeah. You did, you've, got, you've got another eight minutes. Another eight minutes, Debbie. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, oh, my. Debbie, this is your this is your director speaking. I think we need to remove the mask for your own safety. Oh, <laughs> for your own safety? Is that, you know, that's the first time he's ever done that. It's the first time the voice of God has ever been heard on the show. It is. Whoa. Okay, you ready? Yeah. yeah. Go ah! Gorgeous. <laughs> well, well, yeah. lovely job. Any difference? Do you want some of this now? Yes. So, oh. so now, what do we do with this now, Richard? Do we eat it? Uh, no, no. Uh, you make it into earrings, darling. It's gold. Yeah. It's yes. right. What's the shape? It's Can right you not reuse up. it? Yeah, I know, but it's like slime. It's got the most satisfying texture. It's right up there with bubble wrap. So, um, Debbie, Ooh. I'm sure that was, yeah, that was a pleasure yeah. later. <laughs> I'm going to put it on my decolletage. Ooh, very good. 
Is that a good idea? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what another, you should do. Have another drink. Yeah. I, I feel slightly robbed, ladies, because when I've worn this mask in the past, when I've taken it off, I haven't been wearing a full base and eye makeup afterwards. <laughs> no, no, that was nasty. That was very nasty, especially to your, especially to your birthday girl. Also, your birthday you girl. know, uh, surname <laughs> twin as well. I mean, you, know. exactly. you look absolutely stunning. Absolutely. Stunning. Thank too you. late, As Richard. Always. Too late. More, more, more wine is in the post, obviously. Sherry, please come <laughs> out of that mask. Pardon? Sherry, come, come, come out of your Reveal. mask, darling. We'll have to go and get it off, though. I don't know how to have to. Did you gaffer tape it? I'll have to cut it off. Did you sell tape it on? Did you, <laughs> Did you sell tape it on, darling? <laughs> She's st stuck it with super glue. Oh! <laughs> I, love I love the fact that they were not hearing the voice of God now when Sherry is basically taking a scissors. Stabbing herself. Yes, from my face. Exactly. <laughs> He's disappeared. <laughs> darling, it's taken years off you. It's taken years, years. off you. Oh, marvellous. Marvellous. Well, to be honest, ladies, on a serious note, frankly, pampering ourselves during this last sort of 12 week tenure or however long it's been has been an yeah. absolute treat. Um, I know a lot of people have just sort of been hunkering down, especially if they've been living on their own and they have been indulging in all sorts of treats. Um, as I say, I've always had to take the sell by date on mine because like Debbie, I've, I've, I've actually taken them from goodie bags and they could have been from a do about a year ago. So I have to make sure that they haven't expired. So- Oh, I think I, I, a year ago, yes. this is probably 20 years old, Richard. <laughs> Cherry, what have you got stuck in your hair, darling? What have it's you done? It's tape. I can't get the tape. <laughs> no, not super glue. Ow! Ow! Ooh. Oh, I can feel that. Dee, are you going to do something with yours, darling? Oh, Eat she it. Was what? She ate it. Well, you, you disappeared then, Dee. It's absolutely delicious. She's eating it. She's oh, eating she's it. Licking, she's licking it off herself. Oh, how disgusting. Well, if I had a tongue long enough, I would. It's really gorgeous. Um, well, we've all been there. <laughs> Jerry, you're going to have to cut that out of your hair, darling. I what know. Have you done? I will. I'll leave it for a minute. <laughs> oh, Richard, what were you saying? I was, just, <gasps> I was looking at Dee's eyes, and she just, she's got eyes like Bambi. Honestly, your eyelashes wouldn't look out of place on a camel. What is your secret? Oh, darling, I don't, you have to ask my mother, because I've inherited... <laughs> These eyes from my mother. Um, They're Miss Penelope's eyes, Richard. Of yes. course they are. Yes, my mother. Did you know that? Did me. you know that, that Miss uh, Lady Penelope's eyes were modelled on D? Yeah, when I, I was a kid. I did know that. Yeah. Amazing. I'm a, geek. I'm a bit of a geek for all things. I'm a son of a I would pull up to are your you? bumper in a heartbeat, darling. Pull up to your bumper in a heartbeat. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Oh. And now Ooh. she does the, She does Miss Penelope's voice, don't you, D? Yes, I do now. Since my mum passed away. I do the, the voice now for the, you know, like, um, hello, Richard. How are you, my darling, today? <laughs> oh, Parker, get out the rose. Fabulous. Sort of Fabulous. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> glorious days. Glorious days. Now, Richard, you're not going to be able to be with us next week, are you, darling? No, I've, oh. got to, I've got to take. I've got to take care of mother. I'm taking her um, to a cheeky little appointment, um, and frankly, it's long overdue. She's got a face like a raisin with a wig on. I said it's time for Botox, oh. mother. She's eight. And I'm joking. <laughs> No, she has been she has been blessed with very supple skin like mine. But no, I've got to I've got to take her down the hospital for nothing too serious, but just a cheeky little checkup. Um, yeah. And, uh, I thought oh. I'd it, but you'll be there the week after because we can't manage without you. I, 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 my life is a husk without you, ladies. I'm just rather glad that I've managed to get off with not putting mine on, which means I can save this for our bath. I know. Wow. I can keep it in the fridge, Debbie. But Debbie, I do know where I can source a few of these. So between us Arnold's, you might find mm -hmm. something in their way into the post. Mm -hmm. That's Bye, exciting. Darling. Thank, thank you so much. And we'll see you the week thank after you. next. Thank yeah. you. Mm -hmm. we, all, we all know, that, get out of we know, this. We know that in two weeks, two weeks from now, Debbie will still have that on a decolletage. <laughs> And, and I will still have this Sherry wrapped Houston. around my neck. We've gagged Sherry Hewson. Our work is done, ladies. I shall see yeah. you in three weeks. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye.